This is Godwin testing out the specialized Epic. We uh, pumped some air into the rear shock so it'll be fit, uh, customized to his uh, body weight. And the Epic rear shock is supposed to have a little bit of sag on the rear. He's going down a little bit too far, but he should be turning around here pretty soon. I guess he's not turning around where I thought he was going to turn around. So we're just going to have to wait here. There's a bird up there. And it's a nice day today. It's December 24th, the day before Christmas. And you can't really tell, but there are some Christmas lights on the bushes at, at our neighbor's house. And he's got a bunch of firewood stacked up. And you can see some smoke coming out of the fire, uh, fireplace chimney. And we also have a fireplace at our house, but it's gas. Um, gas powered I think so we don't use any firewood inside the house but we do have a fire pit let's see let's see if he's coming back yeah, he's on his way back You can lock the front shock. If it's bouncing like that, you can um, lock it up. You, if the, the front shock is bouncing up and down and you're not out in the trails, you can lock it. Yeah. You wanna figure out how to lock, which way to turn it to lock it? Is it down or up? I don't know. Let's test it. How was that? Is it locked? I think it's the other way then, because I see it bouncing up and down. Yeah, okay, I think you got it. 
uh, turn the right way. How's it riding? The ride's good? Good. Is the seat adjusted to the right height or you think you need to adjust it some more? Yeah, you can um, put a rubber band like around your uh, ankles on the right ankle. If yeah, if you have Velcro, you can use that too. But you can use rubber bands if you if you don't. I have rubber bands upstairs right, if you need them. All right. Okay, let's. Are you done yeah, riding it? All right. Got some Christmas lights on the wreath on our front door.